Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is my lovely client, Charlie. She's my fave. She's, well, she's not my fave, that's rude. But she's one of my faves. People, one of my favorite people ever. Let's, let's say that instead of a favorite client because that just ain't right. So she's coming today for a redesign. Well, she came in originally for a redesign and then she was like, oh, I wish I could have a fresh set so I could change the shape. So that's what we did. So um, I applied, what tips did I use today? I used some, um, oh, I used the um, salon approved, let's read it. Salon approved Pro Impressions Advanced Clear Smile, that's what it's called, um, tips. I love them, really easy to file and nice and strong. Um, I applied the clear layer and now I'm going in with my design. So we're going for another autumnal kind of look today. So here I'm using, what am I using? I was gonna say cinnamon, but it's definitely not cinnamon. I can't actually remember what I'm using here. I think it's pomegranate. Yeah, it's pomegranate. So pomegranate from CJP, I'm just gonna do a full now of that. So the ring finger is going to be a glitter fade. So here I'm using a birthday suit and I'm just covering her natural nail colour. Um, so the brush that I'm using today is the big boy brush from CJP. I'm switching up again. You know I switch between three brushes. Two from Glitter Planet and one from CJP. Um, that's just what I like to do. So now um, I'm going in with my glitter. This is... Um, chocolate fudge from glitter planet absolutely stunning and so glittery i've used it before like last year i would say last year yeah last year um and i loved it and i'm so glad that it's back out um and in full swing full <laughs> swing um so i'm just putting picking up a little bit with my clear acrylic dipping into that raw glitter and then just putting it on the free edge and blending down and patting and pressing as we go. So now the middle finger is going to be an ombre. So I switched to my number two brush from Glitter Planet and I'm just picking up pomegranate, cinnamon and um, birthday suit and I think a little bit of clear as well and just with that number two brush literally just swirling together I recorded this hand and I felt like my marble on this hand wasn't as good as the other hand but hey whatever it was still nice and I'm still proud of how my marbles are turning out finally <laughs> So the pointer finger was originally just going to be a plain ombre and I wasn't happy so um, 
I ended up just putting some glitter in it. Whenever you're not happy with anything, put glitter with it. It always fixes it. <laughs> it really does. Um, so here I'm using cinnamon at the tip. And then I'm using, obviously, a pomegranate. And I'm going to blend them as much as I can into each other. Wasn't happy with how plain it looked, really, rather than my blend. I knew these two colours would be um, a struggle to blend. But I just think I thought they looked pretty plain. So I was like, girl, you need some glitter. So yeah, I'm just using that same glitter, chocolate fudge. And I'm going to do your classic um, S shape. I can't. I think I do my S's back to front though. So it's a back to front S. <laughs> The fun I just didn't catch on camera. I was completely out of shot. So that was just boring anyway. That was just a plain pomegranate full nail colour. Um, I then thought I was ca I recorded me capping the nails. And I felt like I did the cap really good. Oh, but whatever. I didn't press record for some strange reason. Me and I'm good friends with Charlie. So we got chatting and laughing. And I just forgot. <laughs> so now I'm using my Saiyan K35 and my flat top carbide bit and I'm just going to debulk and flatten out that cuticle area I'm then going to shape again I ha no I haven't shaped here yet so I'm then going to go in with my um, hand felt and shape them all and make sure that they are nice and crisp um, and then I'm going to buff them with my buffing block you'll go and give them a scrub with some soap and water and then we're ready for top coat So now for the best part, I'm using Miss You Top Coat. I love the um, the feel of the bottle in my hand and the feel of the brush. I do, I really enjoy it, I like it. Um, so I'm just gonna top coat all the nails, um, just applying a nice thin layer of that. And then I'm gonna cure the lamp for a full 60 seconds. I'm gonna apply some cuticle oil and then that is the final result so i do hope you enjoyed this quick simple easy design if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel already i'd love it if you did and i'll see you in my next one bye